hey what's going on everyone welcome back welcome back to the channel today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to build a custom tree i've been asked many many times how how do you make a tree and how do you make it look good so what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna uh, go through we're gonna hop over into a creative world and i'm gonna show you exactly how my thought process is to building a tree that looks pretty good and i'm going to show you guys exactly how to build all these trees right behind us uh the two small ones they're both exactly the same they just got a different base on them the uh, medium tree and then the bigger tree so we're going to show you how to do all of them and i'll show you guys the little tips and tricks that i use to make them look more natural looking all right so let's uh let's start off with a small tree and uh what i do what i like to do is use a composter fill it up with uh whatever whatever kind of compost you use to make it look like it's dirt and then you use some fence posts and just put some leaves around the top or you can use uh like some podzle you can use some uh, trap doors around the outside to make it look like sort of like a pot some fence posts and uh, a couple of leaves around it and that's uh basically it for a small little easy tree I'm not going to show you how to build it because you guys can see exactly what you what you got to do there. It's very, very simple. So that's the first one. Now we'll get into the uh, the medium sized tree. So what you want to do is you just want to go up. So you're just going to build up. Uh, I don't know. However, how you want it to go. So let's go. Uh, let's go to here for our first level. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build a branch out. So we're going to come out this way and uh, we want it to come up a little bit. And what we're going to do is trim this out after. So it doesn't really matter how it looks. So what we're going to do is come up one and uh, we'll come out this way for another branch. We'll come up a little bit just like that. And then what we're going to do is come back through and we'll clean it up. So bam, bam, bam. And we'll just clean up. Uh, we'll just clean up the ones that are not uh, not very important. Right. So we just got the branch like that. And then what we'll do is we'll come up a little bit more. And then maybe we'll come out this way. And we'll clean this one up. So we're doing this uh, super simple. And then we're gonna go like this and then we'll just clean that up. And actually maybe we'll come out, uh, we'll come up one more here, just like this. And then maybe we'll come up and we'll do just one little uh one little branch up this way and maybe uh maybe one little branch up this way so we'll clear out these all right and that's our uh our basis for sort of a medium sized tree all right now this could be like a medium large tree like it's a little bit bigger than that one but now all you got to do with this is just kind of go around the uh the branches so you're just going to go around each one of them you can make like a square and then uh just sort of fill it out you know so this one here we're going to do the same thing so we're just going to fill around it and just try and do it flat don't try and do too much what you're going to do is sort of layer it so what we're gonna do is just get it built out. So uh, so it's kind of the size we, we want the sort of top of the tree to be. It doesn't have to look perfect. It doesn't have to look, you know, it doesn't have to look super beautiful right away. So just randomly put them down. And then what we're gonna do is just put on a second layer, which is just a little bit smaller than the top or than the middle layer where we started. And then we're just gonna put a couple on the top just to give it a little bit more uh, just give it a little bit more depth, you know? So there we go. And then we can come underneath and uh, we can just put in a couple of uh, a couple of leaves just to cover up the branches underneath. And uh, we'll build this out just a little bit, just a little bit. So super easy, super easy. We'll just pop them in there. It doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. I mean, the less perfect it is, the more natural it's gonna look in the long run. So what we wanna do is go around all the ends of the branches. So the biggest tip I can give for building, building any kind of a tree and trying to make it look natural is put your leaves on the outside of the branches. So like if you, if you see a tree in real life, it doesn't have, 
it doesn't have leaves growing off of the trunk of the tree. You know what I mean? So you want your leaves to be coming off of the ends of the branches, you know? So that's why I do it like this. Uh, you always go to the very tip of the branch and then you build around the around sort of the tip of the branch and then you fill it in from there. So what we're going to do is just going to pile this on like this and we'll put a couple on the top there. Come underneath and just put a couple underneath just to uh, thicken up the bottom. And there we go, just like this. And then we'll go over here and we'll do this one here as well. And don't worry too much about making things look perfectly. That's the biggest issue when uh, when people are building a tree is just don't try and make it look too, too perfect. Because it doesn't need to. It doesn't need to look perfect at all. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to uh, sort of look natural. And there we go. That's probably good. Maybe we'll put one out here just to give it a little bit, uh, a little bit more. And then this one here, let's just get rid of this one and we'll, uh, we'll build out a little bit around this one. Let's put a little bit of a top on this one and we'll come down underneath and just fill it up like this. Easy peasy. For underneath, we can just put, uh, just put a couple up like this. And they don't have to be... They don't have to be anywhere special. They don't even have to be like this. We can put more like this. We could uh, put some in the ground first. Like you put some in the ground for like roots, just like this. Just have them spreading out a little bit from the from the bottom of the tree. Like it's actually grown into the ground a little bit. And then what you can do is you can put on, uh, use uh, like this one, it's spruce, spruce wood, and it always looks good with a dark oak. So you can always put uh, just a couple of stairs to fill in some some gaps and you can put in some, you know, just cover it up so it's spawn proof there. If you really don't like like a curve or something that uh, that your tree has, you can put in like a, you know, like if you, if you wanted something here, you could put it there to make it look a little bit thicker on the branches. So there you go. There's a easy peasy medium sized tree done in no time and it looks pretty good i mean you can do this with any kind of uh any kind of leaves you want any kind of wood you want you can you can even swap out the the wood for different textures like if you wanted to use like amethyst or something like that to make a to make a nice purple tree to do a big tree you basically do the exact same thing but just on a bigger scale and then so what we would do is just start it out and you can just go straight up like we'll go straight up this way and then if you want you can even have a little bit of an angle on the tree so you have it come out this way a little bit right and then what we'll do is just do the exact same thing so maybe we'll have the first branch come right from here and we'll come up a little bit and we'll come up just like this and then you do the same thing just sort of trim it out to uh so it looks like a branch coming out and then you come up uh maybe this way that's probably pretty good for our like skeleton of the tree so that's what we do build a little skeleton and then uh, we'll just fill it in exactly the same way once you think that you've uh, you've done enough Go down to ground level and look at it from where you want to see it and just take a look and make sure that it's it's coming together the way you want it to. So let's look. Let's take a look from the ground right now. So it looks pretty good. I mean, we could make the top a little bit bigger, but we're going to put in uh, we're going to put in a couple more branches, uh, a couple more leaves and we'll see. We'll see how it looks from here. So I'm quickly going to leaf up this, uh, the rest of this tree, and then we'll be right back and we'll take a look and uh, fix it up.
well there we are we got another tree built i mean this one i could make a couple of these a little bit bigger just to uh to widen it out a little bit more it totally depends on your space and your build and where you want to put it but you can always uh play around with it like some of these you can put in azaleas in there you can put in uh, any kind of decorations you want you can put vines you can put lichen in these things that'll look really really good so that's all you have to do and then uh this one on the bottom will do the same thing but this one we could do a little bit uh we could do a little bit more because it is a bigger tree and that's all you do and then, like I said, once again, you can come through and you can put on slabs, you can put on stairs and just make it uh, just decorate it up a little bit if you want. You can put uh, upside down stairs in the corners if you need a little bit more. Uh, you know, if you want the branches to look a little bit thicker, you can always do that. You can put uh, slabs underneath, which will definitely help with that. If there's any spots that look like it's not connected well enough, you know, like places that you just want to play around with, that's all you can do. It's easy, easy peasy. You can, uh, you can use these as branches, but there you go. There's a very, very, very simple way of making very nice looking trees in Minecraft. And, uh, tried, tested, and true. Like I said, I build these things all the time. I love a custom tree. There's nothing better than having a nice custom tree on your world. Hopefully this one helped you guys. Hopefully you guys will come out being able to build a tree like a professional. So anyway, hopefully this guy's, this little guide here helped you out. If it did, if you made it this far, don't forget to uh, leave a like rating on the video and subscribe if you're new around here. And I will see you guys in the next video. If there's anything else you guys want to see, just let me know. Let me know.